Have you ever used intercoms for dirt riding? And do you recommend it? After a lot of pressure from riding buddies, I finally bought a Senna 50S for adventure riding. I had always said no, I'm old school, an adventure bike <laughs> with no ABS, radiators or fuel injection suits me fine. It's KISS, keep it simple stupid. But I am loving this intercom for adventure riding. And now I'm wondering if it would be a good idea for dirt riding too. The biggest plus for adventure riding, no constant stopping to discuss route changes, who is low on fuel, uh, who needs to piss, or stopping to take a phone call. Safety, the lead rider can tell everyone about traffic hazards, uh, you can hear GPS instructions instead of looking down at the GPS screen. If a rider crashes down an embankment but is still conscious, they can alert the group immediately. There's the social aspect. For many of us, catching up with friends is at least half the fun of a ride. Chatting while riding can actually be great, <laughs> although it can also be distracting. And entertainment. Some riders love being able to listen to music while riding. The potential negatives? The biggest issue could be safety. Some riders can be easily distracted by conversations or the phone suddenly ringing. Some guys enjoy the almost meditative aspect of riding. Sure, it's fun to catch up with mates during a break, but while the wheels are turning, they don't want music, phone calls or constant chatter. And the riding group can always use pan signals for basic communication while on the go. In some groups, there can be just one guy who just doesn't shut up. Everyone can tolerate him at lunchtime, but having him in your ears non-stop while riding is not fun. What else? The good intercoms and headsets are expensive. Most of the guys I know started with cheap units, but quickly moved to the expensive Senna or Cardo intercoms. Remember to check your helmet has enough room for fitment. Having to buy a new helmet just adds to the expense. So I'm interested in everyone's experiences with using intercoms for dirt riding. I hate mud. Do they get damaged easily? I used to mount my GoPro on the side of my helmet. <laughs> I often had my head wrenched around hitting vines and branches. Do intercoms get ripped off easily? And do they get destroyed? And is it possible to mount them on the rear of the helmet to avoid this? Most road and adventure riding helmets have plenty of space for the intercom speakers to fit. But enduro helmets are often quite a bit thinner. Can the speakers press uncomfortably against your ears in some helmets? Is it worth getting expensive intercoms? They are usually good for road and adventure riding due to the extended range, great noise cancellation and audio quality needed to get over wind noise. But of course, dirt riding can be very noisy too. It may be at lower speeds, but the open design of enduro helmets will cause a lot of wind noise for the microphone and the exhaust can be very loud too. So a cheaper headset's better for dirt riding. Whoa, the group usually isn't Sticky too buggers. spread out, so the range shouldn't be as important. If you do destroy your intercom, it's not so expensive to replace. Do the cheaper ones last though in tough conditions? I spoke with one of my Canadian buddies who said they have been happy with cheap, no-name intercoms from Amazon. They usually last a year or two before water or mud kills them. And the final question, Bluetooth or mesh technology? Mesh has a longer range, allows bigger groups and forms a network that allows a group to stay in touch over long distances. The main advantages of Bluetooth, it's cheaper and different brands can still connect. So, have you used motorbike intercoms for dirt riding? 
Did you hate it or love it? Any preferences? What do you think the advantages and drawbacks are? Keen to hear what you think? Let us know in the comments.